Hello there, Virgo. Welcome to October reading, October 2023. We're going to see what is the primary issue you're dealing with in your life. What is the primary issue? Let's see. We have here Five of Hazards. Hmm. So with the Five of Hazards, oh, that would be financial loss, poverty, anxiety, Deserted, left out in the cold, something not going your way somehow here. Okay, so we have the magician, but you're able to manifest something here. Maybe you're not believing in yourself here because you do have the magician to manifest what we can think about, what we bring about. So let's see what's going on with this. Why do you feel this? What's going on? And we have here, okay, teamwork, working together. Maybe you don't feel like people are working on the same team with you where you work. Okay. And we have here. This is the four of. This is the four of wands. Okay. Commitment. I feel like you feel like people don't aren't committed to working together where you work. And here is the two of wands. So you're probably trying to make a decision if you want to stay where you're at. Cause it feels like you're doing all the work and getting tired of it. So that's where it is. It's a lot more of a lack of. Um, people pitching in and, and working together here okay we do have yeah it has something to do with work we have eight of pentacles you're manifesting something new here or you're going to manifest a new position it seems like okay so now what happened in the distant past what happened in the distant past we have here the fool you had a new beginning or a new opportunity for a new beginning take the leap of faith aries aquarius energy um Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's something that you inspired you to do something here. Okay, let's see what happened with that. We have the Fool. New beginning. Choice. Ace of Swords. Speaking your truth. Okay. Cutting something else. Speaking your truth about something. Look at the Ace. Ace. Wow. And then we have the Two of Swords. But undecided about maybe doing something. Maybe you did get an offer here with the Ace of Swords. But you weren't sure about what to do. And we have here, this is the moon. Something might have been hitting. Maybe it was fear too. Someone could have feared, oh, if I do this, am I going to regret it? Should it's the right thing to do? Should I do it? Shouldn't I do it? Also with the two of swords, it might be different views on something here. Maybe you didn't agree with someone or, on something. I mean, that's why you didn't do something. Six of pentacles. You want to make sure there's an even balance. Wherever you work or whatever you do, you say, I want to make sure I'm getting compensated for what I do. I don't do all the work and not get compensated when other people are just sitting back, not doing anything and getting paid. Okay, that's the energy I'm feeling for someone here. Okay, now what happened in the um, <clears throat> recent past? We have here, this is the Seven of Cups, options, choices, confusion. Okay. And we have the hangman. Yeah, you might have had other choices and options, but you weren't sure what to do. And so maybe you waited on it. You had to be patient about something. You might have had to wait for something to come in, maybe. Let's see. We have here the six of pentacles. Yeah, balancing things out. You want an even give and take here. And we have here, this is the sun, happiness, Leo energy seeing clearly I had something to do with your work here you definitely were trying to make something work it here with your work you had options you had choices you want to make sure it's balanced you want to make sure things are working out okay we have the ace of cups look at these aces coming up for you wow okay so now let's see what's happening in the present for you Six of Swords. Okay, in the present, you're planning or you're moving away from something to something better. Something's not serving you. Plan on moving away. Four of Cups. You're bored. It's like nothing's fulfilling you. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so you, you're thinking of doing something else. Moving on from this. Maybe you're taking a vacation or a timeout or a holiday. We have here the King of Wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Being in charge, a leader. Okay, maybe you're doing your own thing here. We have the My Little Pony prancing around here. This is like the chariot, but this is more like prancy. <laughs> so maybe a little bit of show off. 
that someone's energy here. Okay, let's see. And the Six of Swords, let's see. We have here, okay, we do have here the Chariot, right? Is this a Chariot? Yeah, the Chariot. Things taking off quickly here in the present. Something's happened very quickly. You might be moving towards something very fast. And we have here the Six of Wands. You're going to have a victory here. I think you might start your own business and it really will take off for you. You'll get notice. You'll get attention here. And um, we have here the Empress at the bottom. What you're not seeing here is, you know, maybe bored or something, or there might be opportunities, but this could be a lot of prosperity coming in with the Empress. You could be coming into the Empress energy here. Libra Taurus energy, but this is creating something new, starting something new, but, but it's the most prosperous card in the deck. Okay, so what's it coming in for the immediate future for you? What's coming in in the immediate future? Okay, we have the Page of Hazards. There's going to be a job offer or something coming in for you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, an opportunity being presented to you. We have here the Elephant, Memories. This might be a uh, something coming back from the past. It might be maybe a job that you wanted and it didn't work out. Maybe now is the time it might work out for you. We do have the Star. Hopes and wishes, dreams coming true. Also, you be in the spotlight. You might be the number one choice for this. Maybe it just wasn't meant for you at the time that you're going for it. And now is the right time. Sometimes that happens. Okay, let's clarify. What about the page of hazards here, which is a page of pentacles, page, page of coins? Let's see. We have here. Okay, we have the hermit, your card. Seeking answers, going within, healing something here, trying to trying to find out what you want to do here. We do have justice will be served. Libra energy, contracts, fairness, and we have here the tower. This might be shocking. This might come out of the blue. I think you're getting an offer here that you're not expecting. It's going to come out of the blue, and it's going to be very shocking for you. Okay, at the bottom of this, we have here um, the Eight of Swords. You might be in your head about this, wondering what, how it's going to work, but we do have the Star. Something that might really work out well for you here. Okay, now, let's see the factors that will affect the outcome of this issue that you're having. Let's see, what are the factors around this? We have here the Two of Swords. You're undecided. You, you might be, maybe you have to decide this. Maybe you have a, um, maybe you're married and your spouse maybe don't want you to take the job. You do want to, you know, maybe it's, you're on two different sides of the fence with this. Maybe that's why it's hard to make a, a decision here. Or it could be di two different points of views of maybe someone that wants to give you the position. Maybe someone else wants to give it to someone else. So it seems like there's some kind of conflict here. There's an indecision. There's a, is a difficult decision and someone has to make the decision but there might be a couple of people that are involved in the decision making and they're both going in different directions so that would be a problem that would affect something here and uh, we do have oh the wheel of fortune divine time so expect whatever's meant for you will come in here okay if you don't get it it's not meant for you i would i would take it as something like that okay let's clarify this two of swords a little more why is the Two of Swords here? We have here the Ten of Swords. See, something has to end. Or something will end. And then we have... We have the Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Of course, this could be your energy. And then we have... We have the Emperor. Ooh, in charge. The leader. The, okay, we have underneath here, we have the world. Okay, so something is completing for something new to come in. If you're the queen of pentacles, you could be focusing on your money at the time. That's the, the main objective here is to make sure you're getting paid correctly and that you're working on your money here. We have here a sewing machine. You could be trying to mend something, piece something together, make something work here. The emperor, this could be the boss. This could be the head honcho. This could be so, someone in charge that has a final say. It might have something like to do with that. Also, it could be that maybe 
you want this maybe this position this promotion or something else and it might be that maybe these people don't want to lose you in the position you're at so that's why they're hesitant about giving you another position because they like the work you do sometimes that backfires on you you do a good job and then you, they don't want to let you go so we have the emperor here aries energy queen of pentacles let's see But what you're not seeing is that something is completing here and is and is changing. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. So something's ending, something new begins, something is finished, something is completed, and then things are shift. Look at these circles. They really stand out. Okay. So now let's see what about the outcome. What's what's happening? What's the outcome of this? What is the outcome here for Virgo? The Hierophant. Okay, this is commitment. This is Taurus energy. The Hierophant could also refer to um, truth, advice, education, commitment. Bottom of the deck. Oh, we have the Empress. Okay, what you don't see coming is you're coming into a lot of money. You're coming to a uh, very financial um, situation. I think you guys are starting your own business. Okay, let's see about the Hierophant. We got this commitment. Could be dealing with Taurus. And we have here, this is the Five of Wands. Competition. See, the outcome is there's, there's a lot of competition for this position that you're looking for at. Oh, we have the Hierophant again. Wow, very strong Taurus energy. I think you're strongly considered here. They know that you will be committed to the job. So that is a big plus. Especially with the Hierophant, that's commitment. And then we have here the Two of Pentacles. There's something about a choice deciding here. You might have to decide or maybe someone else is trying to decide something here. What you're not seeing here is the Empress and the Queen of Swords. Okay. Empress, given birth. Very creative here. This is birthing something new. This also could be something about pregnancy. Um, but they also could be a new uh, new job, a new business. The Queen of Swords speaks the truth, is in their truth, and does not put up with anybody's bull. I think that's your energy here. And um, we'll cut out whatever does not belong. And we have here, dog with the bone here. You might be really hanging on to this and really wanting something here. But you're not seeing this now because maybe some this has not come into play yet where you're going to be stepping into this energy. The Empress is the most abundant card in the deck. So I think you're stepping into that energy and you're going to stand your ground, speak your truth, and not let go of something here. So all in all, I think this looks good. It looks like things are going to, you're going to fight for what you believe in and it's going to, and things are going to work in your favor. Okay. Let's see what the word is. Let's start with the Page of Pentacles up top here. We have important. Oh, a tower. Separate. Okay, so something's going to happen out of the blue here. Suddenly something's going to happen. Aries Scorpio energy with the tower. And with that, and what, is this the tower too? It is. You have a double tower here. A lot of changes, a lot of surprises. Something happening all of a sudden here. And it might separate you from what you're doing here. This is something important that's happening. So that might be what you need to put you in another direction. What about the King of Wands? We have sincere, meaning, committed. Okay, so you're going to have a meaning about a position or about... I really do feel like this feels more like you're starting your own thing. But, or a leader. Maybe they're putting you in a leader position. So you're going to have a very sincere meaning about how you are committed. Now... That is very interesting how we have the Hierophant here twice because this is really someone wants to make sure someone's going to commit to this. So it might be something like, okay, once you say yes, we're training you, we're getting you ready, we're, we're investing a lot in you. That's why it's so important that someone's going to commit because once they put you in this position, they're hoping for you to stay there. Okay, so I think that's what it all boils down to. You, Yes, you can have this position, but we want to make sure that you're not going to get bored and decide to go elsewhere if we invest in you. Let's see. The Queen of Pentacles. Realize the end omitted. Okay, so someone's realizing, and it's weird that this is on the Ten, um, ten of Swords, but we have the Queen 
of Pentacles here. Someone's realizing and that something has to end here. And they're admitting, that, okay, I realize that I have to end this. I can't. I would have to leave this in order to do this. So maybe you thought maybe you could do both. Is that it? But now someone's realizing, okay, I have to give up this. Maybe some of you don't want to give up that. Maybe it's an ending to where you live or an ending to something that you didn't realize you're going to have to give up. Okay, what about the Queen of Swords? We have here unknown, fear, surprise. So someone's surprised about some kind of unknown fear here. Now remember, this might be for you, might not. It is a general reading. Just take the parts that resonate with you. Okay, so now, let's see what signs we could be dealing with. What are the signs here for Virgo? What are the signs? Gemini. Leo. Gemini. Libra. Libra and Leo. Oh, isn't that amazing? Three signs comes out twice for each one. That is pretty amazing. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. So, wow. Okay, so it's Gemini, Leo, Gemini, Libra, Libra, Leo. Okay, now we're going to do the letters. We're going to do 11 letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both the initials, someone's first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have G, ooh, V, G, G, V, G, mm -hmm. N, E, Z, I, W, F, K, W. Okay, so letters we have for you today are G, V, G, N, E, Z, I, W, F, K, W. Now for the names. We'll do 11 or more names. Let's see what names I've got. What are the names for you? Okay, so we have here Yashira, uh, Y A S H I R A. I hope I pronounced that right. We have Doby, Richard, Sebastian, Frederico, Mario, Michelle. Franklin, Farzana, F-A-R-Z-A-N-A, -A -A, um, Madalena, M-A-D-D-A-L-E-N-A, -A -A, Angie, A-N-G-I-E, and Christy, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-E. So we have three, six, nine, twelve names. Okay, so those are names. Now remember, guys. These are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements. You can always check out your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more. And when your other placements might give you that missing piece, that missing link. The part of the puzzle that makes everything sort of click all together for you guys. And remember, at the end of each one of these readings... I always give you the link to previous readings, so if you didn't catch it, you want to catch it, just click on the little link that comes up, the little thumbnail, the, po oh, the little picture, and that will take you right to that um, previous reading, which was the love readings for October 2023. So if you're interested and you haven't checked out, please do. If not, I hope to see you in the next reading. But thank you so much, guys, for viewing this reading. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, your super thanks, your subscribes, your, um, your shares, and... Um, Oh, I just I just love you guys. I love you so much. I really appreciate all that you do for me. And it's really it's very appreciative. Okay. Um, I'm really feeling like I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm running out of steam here. <laughs> okay, guys. So I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.